In this video, we're going to go over the painting process, show you the kinds of paints I used, and the preparation. This is the whole sand it. I sand it with a 120 grit, which is kind of aggressive, but as you can see, the hull was pretty bad shape. Sorry for the fast camera movement. I'm going to try and slow down in the future. But I went over it with 120 grit. And uh, then I went over it with a 220. And then I painted. So on this video, I'm going to just go over the steps I used. You can see there the condition of the hull, why it needed to be painted. And I'll explain the process of painting and repairing. There was some bad holes that had to be filled and then I used a two-part epoxy primer and there were some bad spots there. Overall, the gel coat was very worn. So I'll just uh, go, over with, go over a little bit of the paint I used and uh, the process and to the finished paint. I just want to take a minute and talk about the paints that I'm going to use. This is my third boat I've restored as a do-it-yourselfer. The other ones were larger. And I don't do them every year. I do, have done them years and years apart. And every time I go and start to look at paints, it's just a muddy, muddle of information. So I'm convinced that uh, most paints, uh, probably all of them, according to the price you pay, is the quality you'll get. I don't know if one's any better than the other, but if you start looking at them by their advertisements, they all got the best. So I've kind of settled. I was going to even try doing the Rust-Oleum paint, but I, I thought I'd better go with a polyurethane, and I didn't want to go to with a two-part polyurethane, so I went with the Interlux one-part polyurethane topside. It was $117 for the gallon. That was a, a good price for me. And, that, and I don't have to mess with the two parts polyurethane. So then I, I got some brush thinner. And because I went with the Interlux, I got the uh, Interlux epoxy prime coat, which was a good prime coat. And then I got the Interlux watertight epoxy filler. I'm just showing you what I, I, I used, I'm using, and I'm not trying to advertise anything. And we'll see how it works out. I'll start filling right now and uh, fill a lot of the spots and I think we'll be ready to put the primer on. I don't think I have enough primer for the whole boat. We'll see how it goes. The primer is 450 square foot for a gallon. I've got two. That's a hundred and that's 240 square foot for these two, I guess. 225, I guess that would be. So uh, maybe I'll get the two holes done the underside. So with that being said, I'm ready to start my filling. It's the next day. I got the filling done. It looks pretty good. I'm excited about this painting. I got it sanded and I'll have to probably do a little touch-ups. But it doesn't look too bad. It's, am it's amazing that stuff just really goes and even though I'm putting a thin coat on, seems like I take a lot, use a lot. And there wasn't, wasn't any significant damage, just a lot of filling, a lot of holes, a lot of cracks. Hairline cracks and spider cracks. So I just went around it. Did a little sanding. A couple hours later, went around again. Did a little sanding. Went around again, see what I missed. I missed some more, I'm sure, but I'll see what it looks like after I put the epoxy coat on. If anything really has to be fixed again, I'll give it another coat. I'm just antsy about, show you the stern, I'm antsy about getting the paint on and getting this thing flipped over. I still got a lot of work to do on the other side, so it's just a lot of work. I bought it on the 18th, 28th, oh, 18th, 
about 14, two weeks ago. I guess we're into our th my th the early part of the third week. So, and the way I am, I just hustle until it looks like it's getting done. Then I wish I had, would have slowed down a little bit. But we're, it's looking pretty good. So, uh, it's exposed to rain today, so I'm not going to paint. I'm going to wash it down. We'll get all the dust off. And uh, maybe tomorrow I'll get the paint. We'll see. Okay, we've got the primer on. One coat of two-part epoxy, Interlux epoxy primer. Came out okay. I put it on it, it, pretty thin. But it doesn't look bad. I see a couple dimple spots that I'm going to have to go over. But overall, she's ready for bright sides, finished top side paint. I'll leave this set a couple days and harden up. And we'll go on to the top sides. Okay, I'm done two coats of, of uh, bright side paint. And I'm just going to take the video so I can finish it up. I'll probably put one more coat on and then I'll be done. I've been informed by my wife I need to slow the camera down and I welcome all criticism because this is just really my first video. But I just wanted to say a couple things about the paint. Try and get a little bit of a close-up. I made one mistake when I put the epoxy two-part paint on I tipped it off and I really shouldn't have. I should have bought a good roller and just let it roll because after the epoxy two part went on the paint on top was very thin and you could see the brush marks. So I had to sand it a little bit heavy after the first coat of bright side and it came out pretty good. Not perfect but uh, I, I am satisfied with the bright side paint. And I thought, well, if I was going to do it again, or when I do the top side, would I use the epoxy again? So I tried a little bit of an experiment. And I took the bright side and put the bright side on the cockpit covers. And I don't know if you can see it or not. But the hairline cracks came through. I ground out some of them, but it would have been impossible to grind out all the little spider cracks that were in the hull because it, it was just covered with them. It just seemed like the gel coat was very thin, almost gone. And I noticed that uh, none of them show through with that epoxy paint. So I, I surely would recommend using that if you're using if your your fiberglass is old like this is 51 years old of course but it came out really nice I'm gonna put one more coat on it and flip it over one thing I don't have on my program I'm using I don't have the ability to speed up the videos what I'd like to do is keep the camera on while I'm doing a lot of the work and then speed the videos up and you can see the progress or how it goes but because I don't have that I've cut out a lot of the work so I'm gonna buy a program and hopefully my quality will come up a little bit I welcome any criticism anything that will help on my videos again this is the second coat and it came out pretty nice I, I just uh, I'm pleased with it. So the next video we'll be flipping it over and taking a look at the top side. Again, thanks for watching. And if you watch this, uh, I'd appreciate a sub if you uh, subscribe if you would be interested in following along. Thanks for watching.